You know, one of the hardest things to hear is, I'm sorry, or I didn't mean that. And you can tell by the way they said it, the tone of their voice, their attitude behind it, that they didn't mean it. You know what I'm talking about? I unfortunately, and I'm sure as you have, I've done that. I've done it to my wife. I've done it to my family and my friends where I'm not really sorry. Maybe I'm sorry I got caught or maybe I'm sorry they didn't understand or you know, maybe I'm sorry that they didn't get it. But I'm not really sorry. I'm not apologetic. I'm not changing my behavior. I'm simply aggravated that for whatever reason, they didn't get it. And so when you use those words, and when you're trying to build a better relationship with someone, and you simply just, I'm sorry, and you don't really mean it, you're not helping the situation. You're not making things better. You're actually, like I did in my life, you're making things worse. You say, why? How? How would I be making things worse? Well, if you continue to do the same thing to someone time and time again, when do they eventually not want to deal with you anymore? When do they just want to disconnect? You know, if you walked up to me every time I saw you and you punched me in the arm, what would I do the next time I saw you walking towards me? How many times would I let you punch me before I walked away when I saw you coming? So that's what this is about. When you're talking to someone and you've offended them or you've said something you shouldn't. I was at a a conference this past weekend and I said something joking and didn't mean anything by it, but the look on the person's face, I went back in a few minutes and really apologized. I said, I'm sorry, I, I said that and I really down deep did not mean to offend by any means. And then you know what happened? He was like, oh, I didn't take offense and we got to talk about the Lord for the next 30 minutes. Because I went back and I was sincere with my apology. And so as you deal in your life, as you deal with others, if you're sorry, really be sorry. Really look at it as Ephesians 4, 31, 32. It says, let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice and be kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you. So when you're dealing with someone, if you've done them wrong, if you've hurt them, if you've disappointed them or whatever's happened, when you go to apologize to them, think about this verse in Ephesians. Think about the Lord's Prayer, forgive others so you can be forgiven. You know, really take to heart how you're dealing with others. So when you do say you're sorry, they don't take it as, "Mm, they really didn't mean that. They take it as sincere because that's where we need to be in our walk with God. We need to be sincere.